tips on how to save money on the wedding dress and other outfits Another big expense for weddings is clothing. The men's outfits aren't usually too bad as it's completely acceptable to rent a tux, but for women it's a different thing. But, you don't always have to go with a traditional outfit. You can think outside the box and save money on the wedding dress and other outfits. Set a budget This is always the first thing you need to do before you plan anything that requires spending money. The budget will help you avoid problems. It helps to have that number to stick to and not get talked out of it. Use that budget number and let anyone know who is helping you that this is the number and it will not go higher. Know what you want before you bother shopping, you should know what you want. Collect images of the types of outfits that you like so that you can show anyone helping you the style you want for your outfits. When you're collecting images, don't concern yourself with price, think regarding shapes and style. Buy used A really good way to save money is to buy a used dress. If you do this, buy slightly larger and expect to pay money for a professional fitting with a seamstress, so be sure to give enough time for this process. You may want to check seamstress prices so you can add that to your budget for your dress. Sample Sales At least yearly, most bridal designers and shops offer what they call a sample sale. The sample sale includes last year's styles of dresses that many others have tried on. Due to this, you may need to get the dress cleaned before wearing it. You can save up to 80% on some designs. Set a theme One way to save money on outfit shopping is to set a theme for your wedding. Usually, the theme is based on the venue. For example, if you're getting married at the beach, a short dress with bare feet, and white flowy shirt and pants for the groom will be perfect and much cheaper. Rent You can rent the groom's and groomsmen's outfits as well as the bride's and bridesmaids. This is a novel approach to finding the right clothing for everyone at a good price. No one even has to know that you rented everything. Some people even rent silk flowers. The possibilities are endless with renting. Borrow If you have a relative or friend that recently got married, you can always borrow a dress or other outfit. If you put the word out early that you're looking to borrow everything, you'll be more likely to find what you need. Shop off season When you shop off season, you're more likely to find sales. Remember that you don't have to stick to wedding venue clothing stores. You can find outfits that are good for your wedding based on the theme almost any place. The clothing at your wedding is an excellent and easy place to save money. You can find wonderful outfits to wear that won't break the bank but will also make the statement that you desire for your wedding. Tips on how to save money on the venue Throwing a wedding that doesn't break the bank often starts with the venue. Everything then revolves around the venue. From the style of dress for the bride and the type of attire for the groom, to the type of food and entertainment that you'll offer at the wedding. So, saving money on the venue is going to help you lower the cost of your wedding overall. Choose a day. Getting married on a day that is too popular can double the cost of your venue. Instead, choose a day that is not a normal wedding day like Tuesday for your event. When you book a day that is uncommon for a wedding, the event venue will be excited to do it at a lower cost since it's not normally going to be booked. Choose a month. The month you get married factors greatly into the cost. It's all about supply and demand for weddings. Most weddings occur in August, followed by June, February, and December. The least popular month for a wedding is January. Booking your venue in January is going to save money. Choose your time, a morning or early afternoon wedding will also save money on the venue. The drawback is that y'all have to be firm about the time the party is over because they likely have another one booked at night after you. But that is part of what will make the cost less expensive. Don't invite too many people, 
It's tempting to invite tons of people to your wedding and your reception but the more people, the higher the cost. Specifically, wedding venues are likely to quote you a per head cost, especially if you're also choosing food. Choose a non-wedding venue, some places are known for weddings, and that's all they do. The problem is, that's going to cost you more money due to the location. Other venues rent out for multiple types of events, which often charge less than the specific wedding venues. Choose an inclusive venue. One way to save money is to choose a venue that handles all the preparations including food, flowers, entertainment and so forth. When a venue has all that on the campus, they will offer packages that include everything you need, sometimes even photography and the cake. Serve less alcohol, if you want to serve something, try wine spritzers and fun drinks instead of fully alcoholic mixed drinks. This will save a lot of money. Also, don't offer a full open bar with unlimited drinks. It's not tacky to have an hour of drinks before or after dinner and no more. None of these compromises change the specialness of your day. Most people aren't even going to notice. Your bank account will notice, however. Once the day is over, you'll be so glad that you stuck to your budget for your special day. I know, I know, I know, I know that you like it like that. Like it like that. I wait designer, check the name on the tag. White fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a